As the UK develops its launch capability and upgrades its satellite communications network, BAE Systems is committed to providing an advantage in both near and deep space. Building on decades of experience, they design and deliver cutting-edge solutions that enable its customers to command, control and communicate with spacecraft. Here's more from the Spacecom Expo in Farnborough. With the UK contributing nearly 7% of the global space market and the number of space jobs continuing to grow, its industry leaders are here at the Space Comms Expo to focus on the commercial future of space. This is the ideal place for BAE Systems to not only highlight the important role that space plays in our country's defence, but to showcase the unique strategies they've developed to reinforce our security. It provided the perfect backdrop for the launch of a system that amounts to a whole new direction. One that could revolutionise what satellites see and what they do with the data they produce. It will have onboard processing, multiple customer applications using the abilities Doug described to upload new software, new applications. And it will have high assurance and security. We are building a cluster of satellites that we're calling Azalea. So it will be four satellites flying in formation. Three of them are built with our new space company, In Space Missions, who we acquired a year ago. And then one is a collaboration with ISI, the Finnish radar satellite organization. So our proposition and our offering is these four satellites fly together in formation and they pick up uh, imagery at the same time. So it'll look at uh, optical pictures, radar pictures, but also do radio frequency sensing. And on board the satellite cluster, it will have onboard processing so it can do analysis of what it sees and send information down to the user in very fast uh, timing, maybe even real time. The Azalea Low Orbit Satellites support the UK defence strategy for space that includes Earth observation as a key capability. But the four-strong cluster, optics, radio, radar and processing, is equally useful for civil, even humanitarian purposes. A lot of the technologies we use in defence security are exactly the same ones that we use for civil applications. Um, you know, you use cameras, we use radio frequency sensing, we use onboard processing, and you can apply that whether you're trying to get something useful to the Coast Guard for a civil application or a soldier on the front line. You know, all of those things will be in the mix. It's really important, I think, that when we look at things like government procurement policy, they start to look at those dual-use capabilities because sometimes we talk about buying a system for the MOD and then another system for another part of government when actually that capability can meet that wide range of requirements. With the UK fast developing its own satellite launch facilities and leading the way in Europe, Azalea is aiming for full sovereign capability. But working collaboratively at both input and output stages is central to BAE Systems' approach. We've been providing ESA with the uh, European Space Agency with the uh, deep space telecommunication modem that supported missions that we've done like Bepi Colombo. All the images that you see come back from those come via and are processed via our modem. That's something we're particularly proud of. We have an amazing collaboration with Gunhilly Earth Station, and that's another exciting pathway that we're following to go and see how we can explore Luna, how we can support them in the lunar missions, and how we can support them with their commercial enterprise around the world. And that's something particularly exciting. We run something called Serapis Lot 2 for the MOD. And that's all around bringing in small R&D companies and helping them work with our military to kind of push the boundaries of technology. BAE Systems is keen for more young people to see space as offering careers in multiple fields, not just as astronauts. And they want us all to realise just how much we depend on satellites. Much of everyday life actually relies on the space industry. The GPS timing and information that we get on our positioning is used everywhere. We say the word sat-nav without really thinking about it, but it is satellite navigation. 
but it permeates so many other areas of our daily life. And so we're really keen that people know how much they depend on the space industry and how important it is. And we also need to make sure that it stays that way. So the UK government is looking at space as a critical national infrastructure, and we are looking, you know, we are working with them to make sure that what we deliver is sustainable and stays that way.